Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing. And in today's video, I wanna show you how you can create gradients in your sections and cells in Wix Studio. So if we look at this section here, make your website stand out. It's got this gradient where it goes from gray to blue. Um, this one has a hover effect, which is a different thing. So let's go in and figure out how to uh, add these gradients. So um, in my section grid, um, I have this color enabled and I have my gradient. So a lot of times you'll start out with just this basic color here, but if you want to turn on a gradient, you have either gradient or fluid gradient. So I'm going to show you how you can uh, not only create these, but how you can save these and reuse them. So let's do linear for now. Let's change this so that it goes left to right. So we're going 90 degrees. You can see blue and left to right, and you can configure the different colors here and like this is a little drag and slide so you can get this gradient however you want it. And on the blue, I went from 100% uh, down to 50%. And I could go even smaller than that. Maybe I wanna go 25 so it's a little bit less of a stark gradient. Okay, so let's say I really like this. I'm just gonna click add. And this will save my gradient down here, which is so cool because then you can reuse it in other sections. So I have it right here in this section. Maybe I also want to use it um, where my form is. So it's behind, behind my background form. I just go to my color picker. I go to my gradients and I can find that same fluid gra or that uh, linear gradient there. So now if I preview this, I have a gradient here that kind of goes from blue to gray, which isn't the best because it kind of messes up with that. Um, this one, um, blue to gray again. So let's say I don't like this one. I'm going to change this one. Um, so I'm going to go in into my color picker again, and let's say that instead of a linear, I want to do a radial uh, gradient, and I want to flip the order. So I want the blue to be on the outsides and the gray to be on the inside. So if I like that, I can also add that gradient to my color picker. And now I can go in and preview this. Um, and it looks decent, but I actually might want to have some white, white behind it instead of gray, because it keeps clashing with my form. So I'm going to change this color to more of a white color. And I'm gonna bring the opacity down a little bit. And now, let's see how that looks. So I can preview this. Okay, it's looking a little better. I might wanna do, uh, make it a little bit more of the blue and less of the white. But the point is, is you can, you can configure these however you want. So maybe I don't want as much white coming out of my uh, gradient here. Maybe I just want it to be a little bit of white and then if I'm happy with that, I can add it. And now I have that gradient saved there. So um, now that I have that gradient, I'm going to go up and add it to a new section. So um, this section is just a gray. I'm going to change it to my gradient here. The new one I just saved, I kind of like this. Um, bring some white at the beginning. And I'm going to do it even a little bit less white, but just a, just a slight, slight white and have it not go so far. So it kind of has some glow in the middle to it, and I'll add that gradient as well. So you can really customize these to your heart's content. And then the fluid gradient that we haven't talked about yet is um, kind of the same concept. You just get more colors. So, you know, you get four colors that you can use, um, and you could change these to your actual site colors. So maybe these sides are the blues, these sides are the oranges, um, and you get something kind of unique like this. And then of course you can drag these around and maybe we want the lighter colors to kind of shine out and the darker colors to be a little more subdued. Um, but kind of gives you a cool look that you can, you can really customize. And then same thing, once you're ready to save that, you just click add and your gradient is saved. Now you can use it in other places on the website. So let's go ahead and preview some of these gradients here that we just created. We had the radial gradient there, the linear gradient here, and then this was the fluid gradient, so kind of lots of different colors there. And then we had another radial gradient here, kind of get some little whites showing in, so it can be really subtle, um, but just a fun way to, to optimize and customize your website that much further. So I hope you found this video helpful, and I will see you in the next video.